today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can effectively cut and put B-roll in your music videos. Now, a lot of upcoming directors today have issues with this, but today I'm going to help you guys through it. Now, just quickly, before we hop into this video, this video is sponsored by my editing packs. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your visuals, my website is the place to be. There are tons of editing assets and packs on there that you guys can use to speed up your workflow and add crazy effects. We have drag and drop 3D effects that require no render time whatsoever that work in any editing software and much, much more. Make sure you guys go check it out, but let's hop right into this video. All right, so we have this Ty Fontaine Die For It music video opened up here that I shot and edited. And we're gonna go ahead today and just break down some of the B-roll uses that I used in this video. So if we go ahead and start off with the intro, pretty much the entire first 45 seconds are all B-roll. So this is a great example. If I turn these effects off here, you guys can see it's just pretty much the car is racing. first 18 seconds in all b-roll let me break this down what my mindset is on set so while i'm on set shooting a music video i try and record as much as possible and this is slow shutter here if you guys don't know how to do slow shutter you can either do one of two things you can change the shutter angle on your camera down and then turn your iso down as well so it matches the lighting so it's not overexposed or what you guys can do is you can go check out my slow shutter preset that's on my website but pretty much what's going through my mind on set is like i said i'm recording everything and i record everything at 4k 60 frames per second so I can slow it all down like this scene here that's slow-mo this in here that's slow-mo and what I like to do as well is I do performance scenes obviously of the artist but then I'll do a scene as well where I'm like yo please don't wrap the song I'm just gonna move the camera around and get accents and b-roll and just move your hands around uh do some movements uh just basically stuff like that so I can chop it up and put it anywhere in the video and I actually learned that from young Tata so that's honestly a great way to get b-roll for your video and honestly just asking artists yo just chill for a second I'm just gonna get some b-roll of you so a good b-roll is like if the artist smokes we have cool driving scenes here smoking scene just accents like i said so the clothes he's wearing the chain there the easiest way to chop it up into your video is once you have your project bin you want to create a folder called b-roll and then one for performance so in the b-roll folder i have all the b-roll clips and then what i'll end up doing is once i'm done putting all the performance scenes in here i'll get the b-roll clips and i'll double click them just like this it's going to extend the color grade that's pretty much all that this is and I'll go through the B-roll clips just like this. Let's skim through them and I'll hit I on my keyboard for in. And then let's say I wanted to cut here, hit O. And I'll click on this video clip and drag it in there. And then boom, I have this B-roll clip right here that I like, just like so. And then I'm going to do this a bunch of times until I have a bunch of clips here just from all of these scenes. So let's say this one here like that. Drag that one in. This Lamborghini logo there, right? Drag that one in. And I'll do this a bunch of times until I have a bunch of footage here. And then I'll go through the video and look for spots to insert B roll so the intro i'll start off with and i'll fill the intro with b roll but then what i'll also do as well that i highly recommend you guys do is i'll go to my performance scenes and i'll skim through them and i'll find certain parts where the artist is just kind of like like this that part right there right i'll put that there and that can be used as b roll as well right see his hands going up and down and the best part about shooting in 4k as well is i like to zoom in a lot on my footage so i don't even have to show his face like that and i can just get his hand movement like that right and then as well what you can do since we're shooting in 4k 60 i can cut right here and I can bring it down to 50% speed and it's going to slow-mo. So we'll have regular speed and then slow-mo like that. And boom, literally no quality loss, nothing like that. And I even have the proxy on it as well. So super cool. I highly recommend doing that, uh, going through and just stack all of your B-roll here. And then when you want to use it, I can just highlight it, bring it over to the beginning like this, put it up here. And then I have E set to enable on my keyboard so I can turn it on and off. So let's say I need uh, a B-roll clip for here, right? I'll skim through these, see what I like, see what I don't like, drag this one in here, put it in, resize it, add it to the video, etc. And that's pretty much how I cut B-roll. I've had a bunch of people asking me, and this is the video on it. If you guys want more videos just like this, breaking down basic editing techniques and stuff I do to edit my videos, let me know in the comments below. Go check out one of these two banging tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.